Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a long-awaited haul that you guys have been asking me to do for years and I've been meaning to do it but I've been putting it off because to be honest with you it is a really expensive video to have made. I have gone out and bought six different types, yeah, six different types of sucky and knickers or so I like to call them, shapewear, Spanx, that kind of thing. So yeah, without further ado, let's get sucking in this belly. Now I'm gonna do a before shot so that you guys can see what we're working with and then I will do a what I look like in the shapewear and then we will do what I look like in a sucky in dress so that you can see the different stages and then at the end we can compare them all together. I do apologize if the lighting is changing, the sun is rapidly going down, so I'm trying to be quick about filming this. Give the video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. Of course, subscribe down below. I make haul videos like this all the time, and I have a Mum Life Mukbang series as well, which is all about motherhood and bringing us mums together. So, let's get into it. So as you will see, this is my before body. I had gave birth to my second son seven weeks ago. So this is what my postpartum body looks like. I love my body. I am so thankful for what it has done. But of course, there's occasions where I would rather not have my belly hanging down low. This is what I look like with my belly out. I've got my knickers hanging down underneath the pouch. And as you will see, this is from the back. Okay, so this dress is a Kmart dress. It is $12, and this is what I look like with zero shapewear on. Okay, so the first thing to note with this pair is obviously that they are black, <laughs> as I said, and there's two pairs in the pack. They're exactly the same fit. They actually end around the waistline, or they do on my body anyway. They do bend over a little bit, they curl, but that's not too noticeable because it is a shorter body. If it was longer and it rolled down to there, that would be a big issue for me. But so far, it's feeling nice. As you will see, I'm not sucking in at all. It's done some shaping for me, but it's not like I would call firm. You know what I mean? I'll show you the back. It has a detailing in the stitching. It's not really stitching, but it's the way that it's seamed um, or like thicker material in certain patches. So in the center of the butt, there's thicker and then at the back here, there's thicker. So it's trying to plump your booty, I think. However, I don't think it's really doing much for my booty. <laughs> $12 Kmart dress in a size 14 as you will see it's sucking me in enough I don't think I have too much shadowing here but as you will see it's quite obvious that I had a line in the center let's turn to the side and have a look would I buy this again for ten dollars or whatever it was absolutely you get two pairs in a pack do I think it does a good enough job if you're maybe not wearing something as tight but just needing a little bit of tightening yes I do think it's worth your money we're gonna go in order of price let's try on the next pair okay guys so this one is the next affordable I would say item I'll get put the price on the screen but this one is not my favorite. I would say this is actually worse than the Kmart one. You can let me know in the comments if you agree. This kind of made me look pregnant, I think anyway. Um, yeah, I don't love it. <laughs> size 16 to 14 and it's rolling down all on the edges I don't know if you're weird to see but it's sort of coming starting to roll there's absolutely zero uh, what's the word like plastic rubber on the edge at the top so it's just gonna roll down I think this is an absolutely pointless piece if you ask me someone that needs to have their belly sucked in is most likely going to also have love handles so why on earth they wouldn't have designed it to have plastic holding it up so that it doesn't roll under the rough love handles is beyond me i apologize for the lighting change i've had to adjust my lights because the sun decides to keep popping in and out of the clouds so so this is the dress with the cleo on 
as you can see, so many lines are showing up. It's crazy, and I feel like it's barely done anything. I've just adjusted the camera so you can see this for its full length. This is the only pair, as I mentioned earlier, that is in the full short version. Now, as you will see, when I bend over then, it rolls down, which is very annoying. Again, zero plastic or rubber holding it up, which is just why. <laughs> Let's start with that. So I bought this inner size extra large, which is the largest this one comes in, which is beyond me as well. Like, who the frig is wearing shapewear in a size small? Sorry. No. It's the women that have rolls <laughs> that need them. I just do not. They get started. Let's move on. This is the Magic Shapewear brand found in David Jones. And this one, uh, please excuse as well these lines here. I have to wear knickers with them because some of the pairs I will be returning if I do not like them for obvious reasons, because I do not like them. <laughs> so this is comfortable to wear. The inner part of the legs is very like, you. I cannot find a seam or a, like thingy to do up down here to win, so that means you have to pull it down every time, which is very frustrating. I will say of the first three that we've tried on, this is the most comfortable. Coming in very close price to the Clio. Um, not exactly, but close. And this is it from the side. I definitely feel like it's pulling me in more than the last pair definitely did. And again, it's really annoying that it rolls down. It's that little bit too high for my waist, like if it was just a little lower like that it would sit nicely underneath the fat roll but it doesn't it's big so that's annoying <laughs> and if i pull it up too much it just wants to roll rolling with the homies see just roll 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 let's try the dress on just quickly too, I did want to talk, I didn't want to talk about the legs because none of the others have legs, so it's not really fair to talk about it. But what I will just say is the legs aren't cutting in and it is very comfortable. So if you do happen to go this brand, they don't do a brief in this, they do only do the, the leg version. So I did think it was worth mentioning that considering I am showing you the product. So just bear that in mind. Now, this is it in the dress. Again, this is a very visible line here where it cuts off. Unfortunately, I think that's gonna be the case for any of them that end at this point because I do have a bit of a chub here. Obviously, if they come up higher underneath the boob area, then you're less likely to have that show. For the price though, I would say that these are the best so far and definitely one to have any wardrobe. Alrighty girls, this is the first one that I actually feel sexy in. <laughs> I feel hot in this pair. I don't care what anyone else says, it's how I feel. Now, in this pair, you feel sucked right in, okay? Right up to the top. Love it. Mmm, yeah. <laughs> in all seriousness, this pair is damn fine. You will not believe this brand when I tell you what this brand is. You guys would have seen it all over Instagram. You would have seen it all over Google. Shape of Mint. Shaver Mint was an online store, I think based in America, and I was very hesitant buying from them. I thought it was going to be like a wish thing where it was looks really good online and then they show the videos of the women with the really big fat rolls and then they pull it up and it's like, oh my god, no way! This is a gorgeous piece. It was very affordable. You do have to obviously take into consideration the conversion rate from the US to Australia. And then I think shipping was free. They had certain codes going on at the time. Definitely download the Honey app thing that you can do on your browser. That is a miracle worker, especially for overseas things like that. Now, you will notice it does have a little bit of shadowing. I'm not sure how that's gonna show up when I put the dress on itself. I do apologize about my knickers as well. They're really, 
really even me off. I'm pretty sure they had a good variety of sizes. I don't know exactly, so I will leave the link down below. You can go check them out. But I'm so, so impressed. They have a lip up the top with the plastic grippy stuff, the rubber. God say the word, Katie, every time. I will say just wearing it now, it is tending to roll at the back a little bit, but that's because my back indents here. So there's nothing actually gripping onto that, which is really annoying. But everywhere else around to this point is gripping really nicely. I'm wiggling, I'm wiggling, and there is no wiggle. Love that. So let's do every angle so that you can get a clear in here. Right, now that the dress is on, I will mention that it is slightly cutting into the area here. Again, I think that's going to be one of those things when you wear briefs, it's just going to be the case, annoyingly, unless we find out in later pairs that that's not the case. Again, it has a little bit of shadowing here, so there is a little bit of a tummy still showing. I do find that with the most of the sucky in pairs that we've worn so far, it's kind of just making me look pregnant. It's not really making me look skinny. You know what I mean? So let's turn around. Again, pulls me in enough. I wouldn't probably wear this dress in it. <laughs> let's be real. Overall, am I mad at it? No. Is it worth the hype and the money? We shall see. All right, guys, ignore the panty line. <laughs> I could not be more disappointed with this brand. And that is saying something. This is the worst one I have tried on today. And we're getting into very expensive territory. This is Nancy Gans, okay? This one was recommended by you guys. You guys told me to buy Nancy Gans. I put out a poll on Instagram. If you're not following me, definitely do. <laughs> Shameless plug. But I bought it with hopes you guys, with grand hopes that it would be amazing. And I'm pretty much floored at how much they're wanting to pay, like make you pay for this. But also the, what, like the, the way that it holds me, just, uh, I feel gross. I feel ugly. I want to get out of it again. So this is in an extra large. I think as well this was the largest that this one went to. Well, it especially was in David Jones anyway. Whether they do more online is another thing. So definitely check that out if you're interested. However, after seeing it today, I very much doubt you will want to. It goes all the way up to the top, underneath the boob area. But you know what is missing? The blooming sticky rubber stuff. Like, I'm sorry, but at this price point, it should be mandatory. Now, as you will see, there is like, please ignore the neckline clearly, but there is a significant line. I can feel the line, I can feel it happening. And as you will also clearly see, this part here, that is doing nothing for me, nothing. Oh, I'm getting riled up talking about this because it, I'm so passionate about women feeling good about themselves and for a brand that specifically does this for a living, doesn't get it right. Who are you testing this on, a mannequin? Okay, let's do the spin. Let's try the dress on. I cannot wait to get out of this though. Do you know what's really funny? Now that I'm in the dress, <laughs> I actually don't mind it. How funny is that? It looked so ugly before. Okay, it doesn't, it still hasn't worn me over guys, don't get me wrong, okay? But you guys can tell me in the comments, do you think that this looks better now that the dress is on, or do you still think it's not worth the money? I mean, it is making a pretty big indent in my thighs. But anyway, let's do the spin and you can decide for yourselves and tell me down below. It's really shadowy, isn't it? Oh my God. Are any of them not shadowy? See, I just look like an early onset pregnant woman. <laughs> oh, come on. Right. We've got one more. It is the Spanx. They have a good name. Will they live up to their name? We're about to find out. Holy! <laughs> Ow! It hurts to leave it on the legs. What the hell? Just keep pulling, just keep pulling, pulling, pulling. What do you do? Just pull! Are we up 
Good lads. You got to be bloody joshing me. Fudge me, guys. <laughs> that was a bloody effort. Bloody effort to get on. But now we're in. Hands down. The best. The best. The best that ever was. Okay, it's hot. It's hot, I can't deny it. It's bloody hot. I'm just checking myself out for a minute. This part here is the part that wins me over. What I will say though, Spanx, why do you not have a grippy at the top? The only one today that had a freaking grippy was the magic one. No, no, not the magic one. The Shaper Mint. And it was like quarter of the price or a third of this price. Get your stuff together, guys. Seriously though, in all seriousness, I absolutely love what it's done to my tummy. This was by far the most expensive piece of the day, so I knew it was gonna do something more than the others, obviously. <sighs> Overall, yeah, this is the winner. Has to be. But the ultimate test will be the spin and then trying on the dress, so let's get to it. <laughs> it last one as you will see there's a little bit of shadowing but very minimal it is however digging in here quite significantly again I don't think we're gonna be able to avoid that unless we go the short versions and unfortunately most brands don't do the shorts obviously Spanx do and Nancy Gans does but all of the cheaper brands were more so brief so that's what I decided to go for with this video obviously if you guys want to see more videos like this and trying on different brands that do shapewear tell me them down below what brands you want to see and if you want to see that kind of video again but this is it, the last one. Let's do the spin and then we can see what my verdict is. Okay guys, so my verdict, let's get into it. Of the six, we're gonna be looking at overall, which one I think, think feels the best, which one I think is best value for money, which one meets all of the criteria that I would need it to, such as rolling down, whether it has the grip. But my overall recommendation winner is the Spanx, obviously. It's very clear. It's done what the job needs to be done, you know? It is $120, so it's very expensive. <sighs> I also did find it very limiting when I went to the store. This was bought in David Jones. Maya no longer sells it even though they say they do on the website and it is very impossible to get your hands on unless you want to pay for shipping from America so it does work out to be a lot more costly that way second up though a very close second in my opinion and I may change my mind when I'm editing it back but again you guys can give me your order down below in the comments of which one your favorite was to your least favorite or if you just want to let me know your favorite that's fine as well but my second favorite was the Shaper Mint. It has to be the Shaper Mint. I feel like in terms of the way it sucked me in, comfortability, and the fact that it had that rubber band made me feel so great. And the fact that it was almost, I'd say middle range, if not on the cheaper side, really blew me away. So that would be my second favorite. Then third in line, this is a tough one because I feel like it's a tie between the Kmart and the magic ones from, what's it called, uh, from David Jones. So, if you're going for value of money, I would say Kmart. However, if you're wanting that bit of leg coverage, then I would go the magic from David Jones. I did feel the most comfortable in David Jones out of the two, so I would say the magic pair would be third favorite, then it would be Kmart, then it would be Nancy Gans, and then it would be Cleo. So that is my final decision. I could go back and forth when I edit this back. But anyway, that is my decision right now in the moment. If you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. As I said before, if you're new to my channel, go down, subscribe. I do these kind of videos all the time. Let me know any other videos that you guys want to see like this. Would you like me to do a jeans version? Would you like me to do a bra version? Let me know. That is my plans. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. What does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing?